Baby names from the Bible are my all-time favorite names, but Polish names come in second. A reason to watch this video is for ideas is maybe you want to celebrate your Polish heritage or you're honoring someone who is Polish or you wish you were Polish or you just love Polish names. Polish people are just so great. Polish names are just so beautiful, but girl names are extra special. They have the extra spice, which I think reflects Polish women so well. Polish women are just strong, hard workers, and big-hearted, and beautiful. So my number 10 girl's name is Karolina, and Karolina to me it just epitomizes what a Polish name is. It's just beautiful and has a great flow to it. And Carolina is a form of Caroline, which is a form of Charles, and it means free man. And I love the nickname Lena for it. Number nine is Anielka, and I've always appreciated Anielka. It just has a quiet beauty to it, and it's a form of Anna, and it means gracious, merciful, and I think Annie would be a cool nickname for it. Number eight is Marika, and it's a form of Mary, and it means of the sea. Or bitter, but it just is so cute and fun to say, Marika. Just, ah, oh, love it. And Mia would be a cool nickname for it, and even Kiki if you want to be a little out there. The next one is Rosa, and Rosa means rose, and I love how this is spelled with a Z instead of the traditional S. It just gives it such a feisty, unique feel to it. Number six is Lilka, and Lilka means lily. And it's a form of Lilia or Liliana. And if you really like Lily but don't like how popular it is, Lilica would be great. It just is so beautiful. Number five is Zosha. Zosha means wisdom and it's a form of Sophie. And I actually had a Polish Aunt Zosha. And she was so feisty. And I think Zosha is such a gorgeous name. And Zoe would be an adorable nickname for it. Number four is Melina. And Melina means raspberry, which is so cute. And it just has such a pretty flowy sound to it, Melina. I think that is very, very usable. And it's not unusual at all. And I think Lena and Mia would be really cool nicknames for this. Number three is one of my favorites. Obviously, it's number three. And that's Salome. Salome was my own grandmother's name, or Bopshi in Polish. And it means peaceful. Now, my grandmother pronounced it Salome, but I believe that in traditional Polish, it would be Salomia, and spelled that way on the bottom, ending in M-E-A instead of the above, M-A-E, which Salomia is still gorgeous, but I prefer Salome since that was my grandmother's name. And I think May or Mia would be great nicknames, and Sally, which is what my grandmother went by. Number two is Tekla, and Tekla means glory of God, and I love the name and the meaning, and Tekla is just so beautiful. It's kind of like Tessa. I see Tessa getting more popular, but Tekla just is so gorgeous. And my number one of all time is Kasha, and Kasha means pure, and it's a form of Catherine. And I love, love how this looks, how it sounds. I just would love to have a little girl named Kasha one day. My top 10 boy names I have for you, I tried to epitomize the Polish male character, which, you know, Polish men are just lion-hearted, and they have a great senses of humor, and they're just great, jolly people. So my number 10 boy's name is Eric spelled this way, which is really neat. You now, Eric is popular, but I love how it ends in the YK. I just think that's so neat, and it means ever powerful. Number nine is actually a word in Polish, and that's dobry, and dobry means good, and I think that dobry just is very cool. It's edgy and, you know, just so neat. Number eight is Albin. And it's a form of albus, which means white, bright. And I think albin is very, very cool. Number seven is Fabian. In Polish, it's pronounced Fabian. And in English, it's pronounced Fabian. But I like Fabian better. 
and it means bean, which is really, really cute. And Ian would be a cool nickname for it. Number six is Jersey, but in Polish it would be pronounced Jerzy, and it's a form of George, which means farmer, earth worker. But I think Jersey is really, really cool. If you're reading a Polish book, more times than not, there will be a character named Jersey in there. So I, I believe that it's a very popular name. Number five is Clemens. I think Clemens is so cool. It's just as gorgeous. And it means merciful, gentle. And it's a form of Clement. And you could use Ken as a nickname or just Clem, which I would prefer Clem. But Clemens is so cool. Number four is Lech, and Lech means a pole, which it, pole is what the Poland, Polish people are called. And it says on BehindTheName.com that, according to legend, Lech was the name of the founder of the Polish people. And I think that Lech is a really cool name, even if it's just for a middle name. And I think that it has very deep meanings, since he was the one who created the Polish people. Number three is Rock, and I think Rock is so awesome for a guy. What guy wouldn't want to be called Rock? And it's a form of Rocco, which means rest. Number two is Teos, and Teos is a form of Theodore, and it means gift of God. And I think Teos is such a really, really masculine and exotic sounding name for a guy. And my number one boy's name is Severin. And you see I have two spellings there. The, the traditional Polish spelling is on the top. Severin. The W's are pronounced V's in Polish. But it has the word sewer in it. And I, even though I think that it's definitely nicer than the traditional Polish way, the bottom spelling is the phonetic spelling, which I think is better. And Severin means stern, but I think Severin is so cool. I love Severin. And I think Rev would be a really, really cool nickname for it, or even Sev, but I just love it. So thank you so much for watching this Polish video. I hope it left you inspired and Please, please, please comment below. And if you're Polish, tell me how I did pronouncing these names. And I was just so excited to do this video. And I can't wait to talk to you later. Bye.